All right, so let's go ahead and move into our IDE here. Move into that Spring Boot e-commerce project. And let's move up here and let's create a new package, a new package named config. Alrighty, so in our config package, let's go ahead and create a new Java class. And we'll call this class my data rest config. Alrighty, let me expand my window here. This class will implement the interface repository REST configurer. And then we'll move in here and we'll implement the methods for this interface. And we'll choose the method configure repository rest configuration. Alrighty, so this looks good so far. So the first thing I'll do is I'll set up an array of methods. And so these are the unsupported actions. So I'll choose the HTTP methods for put, post, and delete. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get down to business and let's disable the methods for product, put, post, and delete. Let me stretch out here for a bit. Give myself some white space, some room to work with. So I'll use this config I get exposure configuration for a given domain type, product.class. And so this will apply to the product repository. And I'll say with item exposure. So for a given product item. We make use of the Java Lambda syntax with the arrow symbol. And then we use the HP methods dot disable and we pass in that array that we just created our unsupported actions. And then let's do a similar thing here for collection exposure. And so we also do a disable on those unsupported actions. We just do a semicolon at the end. And that's pretty much it. So this block of code will disable the HTTP methods for the product repository for put, post, and delete. So only get will work, effectively making this read only. So this is for the product repository. Let's do a similar thing for the product category. So I'll just do a little copy paste here. And I'll just make small updates here, product category. And then everything else for this is the same. So we've basically locked down the product repository and also the product category repository and only made them read only. So this looks really good so far. I'm happy. And oh yeah, one more thing I need to do. I almost forgot about this. Up top, I need to add support for 
at configuration class. Basically allow this to be scanned as a given item here. So we simply use a at configuration. So Spring will pick this up. All right, so we're in good shape here. Let's go ahead and run this and uh, let's test it out. Alrighty, our app is up and running. Let's go ahead and test it using Postman. And inside of Postman, I'll set up a new request here, a get request. Right now, I just wanna make sure our normal read-only stuff works. So just make sure that we can at least get some products. So localhost 8080 slash API slash products. So this works out just fine as we expected. Just simply duplicate this tab here and change the get request to a post request. And so a post request is where we would try and add a new item or add a new product. Uh, so here I'll just move into the body, raw, and then JSON. And I'll just write some very basic JSON here to try and send it over to uh, the API. Let's send this over and see what we get back. And this looks really good. So notice here at the status, it says 405 method not allowed. All right, so this API will not allow you to post request to that given resource or endpoint. So that's good. Let's do a similar thing here for put. So we try to do a put, so basically doing an update for a given product ID, do a send, and a similar thing, 405 method not allowed. Again, very good, I like that. And then let's try it for a delete. So let's try and delete product ID one. And send that over. And then we also get 405 method not allowed. So this is great. I like this. But now let's just kind of double check this. <laughs> um, I want to go into my database and look at my tables just to make sure that nothing's being deleted. So I'll move in here to our tables. I go to my product table, do a quick query. And then, yeah, everything's just fine. So notice here our products are still intact. Nothing was changed. Product ID of one is still there. No mods, no deletes, so on. So at this point, our REST API is read only. So this is great. We went through the spring data rest process of configuring our API uh, by making it read only using that small piece of Java code. Good job.